that. And he'll lead off the bottom of the fifth. How many times you see that? That makes a nice player, too, and he's the first hitter in the next half inning. CSUB player that had the most at bats. Tweet your answer to at CSUB Athletics with the hashtag Lakewise Trivia for your Three up, three down inning there in the fifth inning. Six to five Bakersfield here as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Oklahoma, Sean Hunter, who got the last out working out of a bases loaded situation, or actually a run around second situation in the last half inning as back out to start the fifth inning for the Sooners. Oklahoma coming into this game at 9 9 and 1 has won four in a row. The for the runners, right Gus Smith allowed Number five earned runs in four Sergio innings with nine Oklahoma. hits, two walks, and two strikeouts. All runs were earned. Jake Elliott, the starter for Oklahoma, go out three runs, all earned in two and two thirds innings, six hits and a walk with a strikeout. Then Jake Irwin, the freshman, was in for one inning, allowing two hits. Three walks and three runs all earned. So now here we are, the seven, eight, nine hitters. Robles is leading off. Ground ball right up the middle. Hunter picks it off and throws him out at first. Catcher, number 32, Kyle Hit Atkins. sharply, but um, Hunter in putting himself in good fielding position, clean, clean field. It jogged halfway to the first base and before flipping it over to Blandsburg for the out. Now the batter for Bakersfield is Andrew, I'm sorry, it is the catcher, Kyle Atkins, his first plate appearance. Atkins is a freshman out of Taft High School. He squares to bunt, takes a first pitch strike, fastball toward the outside corner, left-hander versus left-hander here. Harris comes racing in from third there as uh, Atkins squared to bunt. And here's a quickly working next pitch. Breaking ball almost ticks him in the shoulder. He spins out of the way. Evening the count at one ball and one strike. Atkins is very limited play so far. Next pitch, a breaking ball. Strike two called. Nice pitch. Atkins, this is only Atkins' third at bat of the year. He's 0 for 2. Next pitch, outside, missing the close pitch. Even count the, uh, two balls and two strikes. This is only Atkins' third game of the season. Right now, the uh, Oklahoma dugout barking at the home plate umpire over that last call. It was a very close pitch. Umpire barking back at him. Here's the next delivery. Swung on and chopped foul at the plate. Atkins stays alive. Oklahoma, who has been uh, very good control, but it, there's been four walks issued thus far today, and maybe they've got a little problem with the strike zone. Here's the next pitch, swung on and missed, a breaking ball, and the dirt ball gets away from the catcher. Atkins trying to beat the play at first, he's out by a step. Goes with a strikeout, two, three put out at first. Center fielder, number 29, Drew Seelman. Ball went through the wickets of the catcher there, Dorenzo, but fortunately for him, it only rolled about 10 feet away, and he's able to get the ball quickly, and. Atkins does not run well, and the throw beat him at first by about a step. Drew Seelman, who uh, walked his last time up and scored the first of three runs, bluffs the bunt and fouls it back. Owen won the count. Seelman flied out in the second and then drew a walk to lead off the fourth. Bakersfield scored three times in the fourth to take a 6-5 lead, which is where we are right now. Bottom of the fifth here. Lefty versus righty. Here comes the first next pitch. Breaking ball, very close. Inside, even in the count of one ball and one strike. I think you hear more grumbling out of that dugout down the third baseline, the Oklahoma dugout. Here's a 1-1 pitch. Swung on, lined into right field, but right there is the right fielder. 
score CSC, no Alex Wise no makes errors. the catch. Three to three to five. Runners lead to six five. Bakersfield goes well, three like up, see, three down here game, in the fifth. Oklahoma keeping it at a six to five game. 